raising freshwater mussels in Nebraska, little known species in need of conservation. Freshwater mussels are native to Nebraska's rivers and streams and can be found in canals and some reservoirs too. They process organic matter, filtering the water and excreting nutrients that are used by plant life, invertebrates, and fish. Beginning in 1997, the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission began to research current and historic populations of mussels in Nebraska. This research helped identify several species with declining numbers that were candidates for recovery efforts. In 2014, efforts began to raise the vulnerable Plain Pocketbook species of mussels in the North Platte fish hatchery. To do this, fisheries staff developed a new process. The shell of a fertilized female mussel was pried open and stoppered to allow access to the gills. Glochidia, mussel larvae, were flushed out of the female using a syringe. The flushed glochidia was collected in beakers and implanted on the gills of young largemouth bass. Within hours, tissue of the gills grew over the attached glochidia. Some of the inoculated bass were placed in wire cages as the young mussels grew. After two weeks, the young mussels fell off of the host bass. The mussels were collected and the bass were released. Plain pocketbook mussels in nature already use fish as hosts. This is a female actively displaying her lure to attract a fish host to her glochidia. Back at the hatchery, other inoculated bass were kept inside in large tanks. This made it easy for staff to collect the juvenile mussels as they dropped off the host. Half of the juvenile mussels were transferred to a beaker system to be raised. As they matured, fishery staff were able to control their feeding and temperature. Next, the mussels were counted and tagged. Thanks to their size, it was a delicate process. For scale, these are young mussels in a petri dish next to a dime. After being counted and measured, tags were carefully placed so the mussels could be tracked once released. Glue and dental cement were used to safely attach the tags. A small UV nail dryer worked perfectly to attach the tags. The ultraviolet light activated the glue and dental cement without causing any harm to the mussels. After two successful years with the plain pocketbook, another mussel species, the fat mucket, was added to the program in 2016. Graduate students in the School of Natural Resources at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln will be conducting surveys that will help measure the success of the work, including locating, monitoring, and recording how mussels are adapting, growing, and hopefully thriving and reproducing.